Hey guys, today we are checking out Ho Hey by the Lumineers uh, and how to play it on guitar. It's actually a pretty simple tune and it uses a few basic chord shapes. If you want to follow along, check the link right below me in the description box and you can download the PDF that has the music you can play along with as I go through it. So the song uses only a few basic guitar chords that you've probably already learned before. And if you haven't heard of them before, um, I'm going to show them to you. The basic chords are C, F, G, and A minor. So as we go through the tune, just keep those in the back of your mind. Uh, and let's start with this intro. Right? So that first chord is a C, which has your third finger on the third fret of the A string, second finger on the second fret of the D string, an open G, and your first finger on the first fret of the B string. If you take your pinky and set it on the third fret of the D string, you don't need to change anything else. You have this chord which is a C sus. It's a really pretty chord and it sounds really nice when you switch back and forth from C to C sus back to C. So let's take this opening rhythm. That is repeated throughout the verse. The next part of the song is the pre-chorus, which is pretty simple. So you actually, you heard part of the intro sneak in at the end of it. Um, the chords involved are A minor, G major, and back to the C sus to C. To play an A minor, Sounds like that. You have an open A string, third and fourth finger on the second fret of the D and the G. And then you set your second finger down on the first fret of the B string. Next chord is a G major, which is kind of a stretch if you're new to the guitar. Even if you're not new to the guitar, it's still kind of a stretch. Um, you take your third finger on the third fret of the low E string, second finger on the second fret of the A string. Open D, G, and B, and then put your pinky on the third fret of the highest E string. Highest of two. Uh, so then you switch from the A minor to the G. And then you return to your C sus to C. That's the pre-chorus. Here's how it sounds all together. Next part is the chorus, which is just A minor, G, and C. So you've heard these chords before already, which is nice. And it's got this right hand chugging along train beat that you can just plug in with those chords. last part of the song to learn is this bridge, which uses only one extra chord, an F, and then it goes back to C and G. It keeps the right hand moving along like it did before, like that train beat in the chorus. Kind of sounds like a train, so I call it a train beat. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's the F. very similar to a C chord. If you go back to C and took your second and third finger right here and you scooted them over one string toward the ground, you would have an F chord. Your index finger doesn't move at all. And that's the bridge. The bridge takes you back to the chorus and then you play the outro which is the same as the intro. C, C sus, back to C. And that's the whole of the song. So like I said, it's pretty simple. It uses basic chord shapes. But if you're new to guitar, it's a great way to start practicing these cowboy chords with 
a new song to play with your friends, or if you've been playing for a while, um, it's just really good to practice some fundamental rhythm. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, the description box has a PDF if you want to download and follow along and come back, play the video a few times. Thanks. You've been all in my